back, everyone, for some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney here on the Switch. And we are going to continue on with the trial of Miss Maya Fay. And we heard the testimony of our first witness, which happened to be Detective Dem uh, Dick Gumshoe. And today, uh, well, before I continue on, we did learn that there was a possibility that uh, Mia Fay could have written the, uh, the, no the, uh, Maya's name written in blood on that note, according to an, um, an updated autopsy report brought to forward by Miles Edgeworth, who's the prosecutor. And now he's calling the next witness to stand, which we will be listening to here. But without further ado, by the way, hope you guys have a good Sunday. So, and uh, we're going to continue on with the trial here. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Oh, this ought to be good. Exactly, what part of her is innocent? <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I am not ready for this. Witness, your name, please. Um, why are you not asking for your occupation, Edgeworth? April May, at your service, Wink! <laughs> Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite phrases in this first game. I absolutely love it. Yes, Your Honor! This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Among other body parts. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like, at my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right in after lunch! And this hotel is directly across from the Fane Company Law Offices? That's right, big boy! Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witness testimony. Witnesses' accounts. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her, and then she hit her! Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end, that's how I saw it. Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> hmm. Well, Your Honor? I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble witness any. Well, wait, Your Honor. What, am I not gonna... Yes, Mr. Wright? Um, are you not gonna let me cross-examine? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Oh, oh, okay, okay, let me get this straight. So, I can't slander his name in court without being blasted by the judge, but yet he can drag Mia Faye's name through the mud, and that's okay. Uh, hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Ray, will you cross-examine a witness? Hell yeah! I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Yeah, I can't get over that. Cross-examination. Witnesses account. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading in a normal way. I'm not doing her voice for the cross-examination. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her is Mousy Girl sitting in the defendant's chair. 
Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. Excuse me. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Hmm. That's it? Nothing really jumps out as a contradiction. There's gotta be something in there somewhere. Maybe I'd better just press her on the facts a bit. Actually, let me save first. I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I did in the last episode. I'm saving this. Okay. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was a mountain girl sitting in the defendant's chair. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she, she had a ghoulish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? We. There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, ghoulish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I'm not gonna say he's right. I question the testimony. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. What? what Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you saw nothing or you're lying. Oh, she's lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Uh -huh. Oh, that face, though. Holy hell. Mr. Ray, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed clothes be her clothes before noticing her physique. Dot, 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 exclamation point. Oh, his eyes twitching. We're getting on to something. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. Kinda sounds like a borderline insult, but okay. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But... but... Still, we don't know she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What did you say to that, Miss May? What? What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw! <laughs> I... I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Um... You're in a court. Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. <laughs> Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Witness testimony, witnesses account. I did see everything! I did! The victim, the woman, the dodge, the first attack, and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That... that clock! Um... The kind of statuey clock! The thinker, I think. Whoa, whoa! How does she know it's a clock? Well... Does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin a cross-examination. Oh, now you let me cross-examine. Thank you, Judge. You, sp you are supposed to be impartial, after all. Gosh darn. Cross-examination, witnesses account. Okay, let me save first. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first, atta first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock, um, the kind of statuary clock. The thinker, I think. That I think.
Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> no, that's not what he meant. Oh my god, I forgot she said that. Oh my god. Alright, this. She's a firecracker, isn't she? You just said that this statue to think of was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Oop. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Yeah, that was at Frank's side from the first case. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Ooh! Oop! The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Oh, I don't think so, Edgeworth. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Ray. No, I'm not going to withdraw that. The questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, Judge, be a little bit fair here. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Whew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What so? What happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That, that's... Because I heard it? Yes! I heard it say the time! So, you've been to the law office of Fay and Company. No, no, no! Hey, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room! <laughs> the law offices of Fay and Company, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Ah! But would she have had now? I think we have something that can prove that she did not. Hmm? Well, Mr. Ray, are you satisfied? Hell no. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it or it couldn't have run. Well, it's not that she, I mean, the law office was close to the hotel. It's not the fact that she couldn't have heard it. But if you remember from the very beginning of this case, Mia was holding a piece of evidence inside the clock. And she said that she took all the guts and that out of it, so... There's no way it could have rung, so I'm gonna pick it could have rung. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that clock in question rang. It's empty, it's broken, or the batteries are dead. And I just said it's because she took the guts out of it, that it's because it's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly? Just take a look. Right now. Dot dot dot. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Well, well. Mr. Wright, would you care to ex explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat? Well, Miss May? Tisk tisk. Oh god. Question mark. Oh, this ought to be good. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Ray. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clock work removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Exclamation point? Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. 
Well, Mr. A, can you prove that the clockwork was removed? Ho oh, ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. But what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening, and now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves the clockwork was moved, removed was... Take that! The cell phone. Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, you have a girly phone! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! This isn't my phone! Listen! This is a dependent cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! The defendant's cell phone? Th this wasn't brought to my attention. Oh, he mad. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? Ugh. Good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. Beep. Dot dot dot. So you just want me to hold it onto the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. Dot dot dot. September 5th, 927 AM. Beep. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at the hotel. Ma! 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 Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Dot dot dot? Well... Well, isn't it uh, obvious? I saw that clock before! Um, what store was that again? I could go to so many! Ah, uh, nice try! Hey, uh, Larry Butts only ever made two of that thinker clock. Oops, I forgot, Wink! <laughs> so the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Oh, come on, Judge. Does defense have any objections? Yeah! The witness claimed she had seen it before. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Probably should save before this, but better now than never. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that produced the witness had not seen the clock before. Well... What about this? It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever. What? What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible! Everything is sold in stores! That's what you think. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <gasps> Oh, oh, she's gonna need some ointment for that burn. Oof. Oh, excuses not on sale today? Oh, man, he's really pulling it on, isn't he? <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa. What is it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Wow. Okay, that's nightmare fuel right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a courtroom of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh! Oh, 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 me! <laughs> did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. This is scary. 
<laughs> Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Dot dot dot. Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Oh, you don't want to hear my behavior. It's not PG-13 rated, that's for sure. Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... Well, we know she didn't hold it. We know who held it. It was, that, it was the real killer, whoever it was at the beginning. So the only sensible answer here would have been, you had heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known to think it was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving, proving that witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Oh, let's see. What about this? Have a look at this. Ah, uh, oh, th that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Hey there, Rowan. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May? You were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Oh, oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection of award. Thank you, Judge. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? Oh, I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Well... Her cell phone. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. Dot dot dot. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while! Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Dot dot dot. Miss April May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I, I... Objection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La, la, Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Dot dot dot. Miss May. Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. She needs help. It, it's no fair. All of you g ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Oh, what a show she's putting on. I'll tell you what. Now to deal with the final blow. Why? The, well, I think it's pretty clear why she wired... Uh, well, not really, though. I mean, she clearly had the wiretap, though. We really don't know why. But I don't think that's really ne important why she had the wiretap. But I'm just going to give it to her straight. You did it, didn't you? Miss May. What is it, you little shrimp? Talk to me in that tone of voice, will you? 
You killed her, didn't you? Order. There will be order. What? How can you possibly say that? Are you mad? All I did was a little wiretapping. Oops! So you admit you tapped her phone. Heh <laughs> heh. But, but wait. I didn't do anything bad like murder. I'm a good girl. Really? Can you prove it? No way she can prove it. You think you're so smart, Mr. Lawyer. But I can prove it, and I will. You can't be serious. No way. Way! I say way! Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so, the killing happened at 9 o'clock at night? Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bell boy. R room service? Well, that's convenient. Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee but cold. Yes, we know what ice coffee is, you psycho. If you don't drink it quick, that ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, ice coffee? Dot 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 exclamation point question mark. Think you're making this up? Ask the bell boy, Hank. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Exclamation point. So, where does that leave us? So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're gonna let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Okay, continue examining. I don't see what point that would. I think we pretty much got all that we can from her. Only other option I can think of is call the bellboy as a witness. Hear what he has to say. Defendant, the, the, yeah, the defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Let me save here real quick. I, I think you've sunken quite low enough already. Objection. I object to calling the bellboy. Well, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Dot 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 exclamation point. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, that she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilt. Uh, uh, Accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? Oh, I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be de uh, declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Well, we can't give up. I mean, we got have we have to prove that Maya is innocent. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to accept um, Edgewood's condition. Edgewood's condition here. Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. Very well. The court calls a hotel bellboy to the stand. Which we'll have to wait until the next video, which will probably be Tuesday, but... Yeah, we're gonna call it here. But yeah, that was quite an explosive t uh, testimony there by Miss April May. You could definitely tell that she slid off her cracker a long time ago. But uh, but yeah, next time in this episode, which like I said will be Tuesday, we'll be hearing what the bellboy has to say, and hopefully we're able to somehow tie Miss April May to the murder of 
uh, of a boss Mia face. So, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.